These meals probably don't look like much, but the taste, woo! The next tip, make sure you give yourself Good morning, squad. Let me turn this light on. What's the deal, baby? I just woke up. I got a good meditation session in. I read my affirmations. I have a fun day ahead of me. I am still recovering from a big fight that my girlfriend and I had. And she may get mad, but I'm going to talk to you guys about that because I learned something very powerful. I'm going to share it in this vlog today. Um, I have two weeks before the Arnold. I need to lose about eight pounds. I got some new relationship weight on me right now that I need to get off. So in this vlog, I'm going to give you guys my hacks. Now, I don't want you guys to abuse this. I'm going to give you guys my hacks to speed up the fat loss process whenever there's a situation like this. I need I need to lose eight pounds in two weeks. So I'm going to share that with you guys on this vlog and hit the like button right now. Also, so look, we got the gray consistency over intensity hoodie. This joint is fire. I love this highlighter line. And then, of course, we have the black consistency over intensity hoodie. And this is a high quality hoodie, guys. And look, guys, we have very limited quantities of this hoodie. There's not a bunch of them. So grab them right now while we have them. The link is in the description. They are absolutely going to sell out quick. So make sure you take advantage of the fact that they are available right now. Go get one. So I'm annoyed as f right now. I've literally been in California for two months. It has not rained one time. Yesterday I had some issues with my roof. So now there's an, there's an opening, like the fan cover is off on the top of my roof, you can't see it. But I, I step outside the van just now and it's drizzling. So now I gotta figure out how to cover this before the inside of my van gets soaked. Right, so I got all the stuff that I need, but now the issue is how the hell am I gonna get on top of this van? So let me figure that out real quick. Excuse me. I'm trying to get on top of my van. Do you mind if I pull up on the side and climb over on from your truck? Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. All right, so the first thing I do when I start my mini cut is I add more activity, whatever that looks like for you. For me, I'm gonna add an extra 20 minutes of cardio. It could be a walk, it can be a jog. It could be playing basketball, whatever you need to do to just add some activity, add a little bit more calorie burning. And that's it. Tip number one, add activity on top of the activity. So I'm still going to work out later. So this is an additional 20 minutes of cardio. So workout one of the day is done. I finished off with a little bit of stretching. And now I'm about to link up with the dude who's going to fix my van. Pardon this brief interruption, but this video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. It is a new year, so that means it's time to level up. Can't bring the 2021 version of ourselves to 2022, which means we got to step it up in all areas. And when you look good and you feel fresh, you feel good. And that's why I'm so happy that Manscaped has us, us men, covered at Manscaped.com. My advice is to start with the Performance Package 4.0. It's your all-in-one head-to-toe men's grooming kit 
let's check it out. Yo, they just dropped their new waterproof electric trimmer and it's legit. It's called the Lawnmower 4.0. And now you can get the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle. To keep it simple, I do my grooming in the shower with the Lawnmower 4.0 because it's waterproof and it's cordless. And you can tackle your groin areas confidently without any mess. The new Lawnmower 4.0 has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built in LED light that helps you trim with confidence. And with the cool new wireless charging system and the new travel lock feature, you have to upgrade your trimmer game, my dude. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little apprehensive about using this ball deodorant and the ball toner spray, but after using it for a week, it was a game changer and I've been using it ever since. In this new bundle, the 4.0, this one includes the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, which is way better than trying to pluck or wax the hair out of your ears on your nose. So they have this cool program called the Peak Hygiene Plan, where they automatically send you the replenishments of your products straight to your door, hassle-free, automatically. You don't even have to think about it. And for a limited time, they're offering not one, with two free gifts. You get the Manscaped travel bag and a pair of Manscaped boxers for free. Click the link in the description or go to manscaped.com today and you'll get 20% off, free global shipping, and two free gifts when you use the code BRICKS at checkout. Trust me, your balls and your body will thank you for it. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. All right, so this guy that's supposed to be working on my van is taking forever. So he's running about two hours late. And it is now 12.44 and I'm hungry. He's gonna pull up in 30 minutes, he says. So I wanna make sure I get breakfast in first. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna have egg whites. Let's pour those in there. I'm going to have 45 calorie bread, right? This is Sara Lee's 45 calories per slice, whole wheat. I'm going to throw some avocado on there. And that's breakfast. I'm probably going to have a protein shake as well, and which leads me to tip number two. The second thing I do when I'm trying to speed up the fat loss process is I increase my protein intake. This is going to be between 45 and 60 grams of protein in this one meal. So tip two, increase your protein. I'm finally getting my generator worked on. What was the code saying? It was just saying maintenance. That's all. It was just saying maintenance required. Yeah. All right. Look, so while dude is underneath the van working on the generator, I figured I'd talk to you guys about this situation with my girlfriend. Now, I ran it past her first, and she told me I can't reveal too many of the details. So just a heads up about that. But here's the main idea. Let me boil this down to the, the, the main idea that I wanted to share with you guys. As a man... As a leader, as a leader of your family, as a leader in your relationship, you can't expect things to be fit. And I'm going to give you guys the scenario. We got into an argument. Uh, I thought I was right. She thought she was right. I actually called my best friend and I asked his perspective on it. Right. We, we did it collectively, pretty much on a three way call. And right in front of her, he told me I was wrong. And that was a tough pill to swallow. It was a tough pill to swallow. But I was also very appreciative. I needed the lesson that I learned in that moment. If you're a man, you consider yourself a king, if you consider yourself a, a provider, there's a different criteria that we have to live by. The whole tit for tat, going back and forth thing, listen, we can't, if, you, if you're a king, and I'm talking to myself as well, if you're a king, you can't participate in that. You have to rise above it. You have to treat everything with, with love and with patience and with understanding. And that doesn't mean be weak and be passive but it means be strategic about the way you approach things, especially when it comes to a woman that you love. So it just started raining outside and my man is still... You good, bro? You okay? Uh, where's my phone? Your phone? Okay, let me bring it inside? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. uh, shit, man, my charger's in the water, bro. All right, so after all day long, Dealing with this generator, I am ended up spending $300 more than I expected to spend. It was supposed to be $179. It's going to cost me damn near $500 to get it fixed. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to control my energy. This is, this is just a part of the lifestyle. So I'm heading to the gym right now. It's 7 o'clock. 
and I'm gonna get in workout numero dos. So I made a mistake and left my tripod in the van. So I'm gonna just skip to the next part of this vlog. Uh, let me just turn some lights on real quick. Make the shot. Look oh shit! Make the shot look a little bit better. All right. So the next thing: start tracking your food intake. That's what I do. What gets measured gets managed. So now I'm putting everything I eat into my fitness pal. It allows me to have some boundaries. It allows me to have some guidelines. So I'm not just having a free for all with calories. Now that my workout is over, I need to find somewhere to heat up my food. Cause normally, obviously I would use the microwave. But since I was unable to get my generator fixed today, I gotta figure something else out. So let's do that. That Whole Foods mission was a fail, but I'm, I, I found a microwave right here at the Shell gas station. And I, mean, I heat up my Flex Pro meal. I had the chicken tikka masala and then this pizza meal. This one's actually bomb, too. These meals probably don't look like much, but the taste? Woo! The next tip. Make sure you give yourself some sort of sweet treat. If you're a person like me who has a sweet tooth, don't just try to thug it out. Especially if you're gonna be in a caloric deficit, especially if you're giving up a lot of things that you normally would eat. I try to give myself at least one sweet treat a day. This is one of those macro-friendly Pop-Tarts by Leg Legendary Foods. It's only 170 calories. It just scratches that sweet tooth itch. All right. So I picked up some groceries. This is not the stuff that I normally get, but this is what they had at the supermarket. So, I love these wraps right here. I usually get these. This is, um, these are high fiber, keto friendly wraps, 80 calories, 24 grams of carbs. I got some raspberries. I usually put these in my oats, some sweetened, some unsweetened almond milk. I got some more stevia. So normally I get monk fruit sweetener, but they didn't have monk fruit sweetener. So I got the stevia. Some Monster Energy drinks, some Crystal Light, some turkey, some eggs, a few pears, that 45 calorie bread that I showed you guys, and then of course some sparkling ice drinks. I keep these in the fridge. They help me with my sweet tooth, and it usually helps me if I'm craving food at all. The carbonated drinks help a lot with that. So I made my bed, which leads me to my last tip. I make sure I go to bed at a decent hour. It is now 9.36. I'm going to get a solid eight hours of sleep. It is super important to get enough rest when you're cutting body fat because you're in a caloric deficit, which means you're already at an energy deficit. So you want to do everything you can to make sure that you're resting your body so that you can manufacture the energy that you need to get through the day, as well as recovery and all of that jazz, right? Fat loss happens while you sleep. But anyway, if you need some more information, if you need some more tips, if you need tips, what's, what am I trying to say? All right, before I end this video, there's gonna be a link to a very important video that I think you should watch. So go ahead and click this link right here. And as always, remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.